I'm Brian Prier, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is weak acids and bases. Strong acids and bases will completely dissociate in water. Weak acids and bases, though, will only do it partially. How do you tell if you've got a weak acid or base? Well, these are the strong acids and bases. A weak acid and base is any acid and base that is not these. So just remember that rule. When you put an acid or a base, as long as it's weak, into water, it'll form it'll stay as itself and also break off into ions. These ions will establish an equilibrium. Ions will come off it and also they'll reform into your weak acid or base. And what you should be thinking whenever you hear equilibrium is, yes, equilibrium expression. And there is one for any weak acid or base. What use is this? It'll let you calculate the concentration of H plus or OH minus ions. So you can calculate your pH or OH. You see, because these only partially dissociate, the concentration of H plus ions is not your concentration of your acid. So let's go on and do an example. Let's say you're eating lunch and you had dumplings in vinegar. And you knew that your Ka for vinegar was 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. You also knew your concentration of vinegar in your vinegar was 2 molar, and the concentration of your acetic acetate ion was 15 molar. Using this, you can calculate what the pH of your lunch is. So let's go on. The Ka is simple. Plug in 1.8 times 10 to the negative 50. The way you arrange an equilibrium expression for acids and bases, ions on top, acid or base on the bottom. Bring your ions or acid or base to the power of their coefficient. These ones don't have coefficients, so to the power of 1. You don't know the concentration of, a, of your H plus ions. You're trying to find that out. Your concentration of acetate ion, you do know. That's 15 molar. You also know your concentration of your vinegar, 2 mole. Simplify. 18 times 10 to the negative 5th times 2. 3.6 times 10 to the negative 5th equals your H plus ions times 15 mole. Now all you have to do is divide by 15. And what that will give you? Your H plus concentration. So 2.4 times 10 to the negative 6th mole. Now that you have that, you can move on and calculate your pH. pH is negative log of the concentration of H plus ions, what we just calculated. So just plug that in. Negative log of 2.4 times 10 to the negative 6. And because you always bring your calculator to lunch with you, this is easy. Punch it in, you'll find your pH. And that's 5.62. So your lunch is close to neutral, safe enough to eat. To recap. Weak acids and bases will only partially dissociate in solution. These are the strong acids and bases, any acid or base that is not those. Weak acids and bases form an equilibrium between their ions. Some of it will form ions, some of the ions will form back. You can write an equilibrium expression for this. Ions on top, acids and bases on the bottom. Using that, you can find your H plus or OH minus concentration for pH or OH. That's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Prier. See you next time.